shop uh, we're uh, on the second part here we go the uh, Schwinn stingray custom restoration I'll get it right one of these days anyways getting ready to uh, work on the old frame here we're gonna just uh, we're gonna try some of these little I guess they're called paint and varnish remover scotch bright pads and I'm gonna put right on my drill I got a couple different kinds. I got a, a, a little wider one that we're going to try in case we in case we need it. This one is a, a little stiffer, but they're mainly for finishing contoured surfaces. And then this one is a little more flexible, so I think I'm probably going to use this a little bit more. Anyways, that's what we're doing. We'll get to center down here. We'll see you in a minute. Okay, uh, I think you got the idea of what's going to happen here. We're just taking that the old bit here and getting a little ragged, which means I'm probably going to have to buy another one or two. You never know. I'm going to switch camera around and let you see um, how far we've gotten on this frame. Okay, this is the work that we got so far. We got it down to metal, and it doesn't look too bad. And there's the uh, the very rough spot that we're gonna have to work on. You can see just how many different coats of paint that they've had on this bike over the years. I believe this was originally a blue bike because I'm seeing blue under here. I'm seeing a little bit of blue down on this part here. And this is just layer after layer after layer of... They probably painted right over grease and rust and... Who knows? But we're going to keep... Uh, we're going to keep working with that wheel and switch over to the other one maybe and... Start to work on this area in here. This is going to be really... Really difficult. So we might have to get some filing going on and some really rough sandpaper and... Get all that crap off of there so we can get it ready to uh, shoot some primer on it. All right, well, I switched things up a little bit. Uh, made quite a quite a big difference and a, a little bit more progress because I switched from uh, from using this, which is wasn't cutting it very well. I just switched over to this uh, wire wheel here. It's a nice, short, stiff, bristled wire wheel. I'm able to get quite a bit more off of that off of that frame. And you can tell the difference from before. So we're making progress. We'll just keep uh, keep a grinding on it. 
All right, well, we got most of that, uh, I don't know if you want to call it gold paint but or not, but we got most of it off. We're going to have to get down in here with some uh, rough paper and then and up in this area here. We're going to have to, oh, I can't see it. Up in there, we're going to have to get in a little tighter with something. These areas are looking a lot better. And while I was doing that, I figured, oh, there must be a serial number. And that will tell us what year the bike was made. F261567. So there we go. Off to find out how old this little stingray is. Hey, we got a date. <laughs> a, a date for the for the bike. <laughs> I went online, checked the uh, Schwinn date code, which is right back here, like I just showed you, and that dates the bike at June 1962 three months younger than I am so it's 55 years old there you go all right what we're gonna do is uh, I'm not gonna film all this next part but I'm gonna take it down take some of the rougher areas like in here I'll show you up in there and down around the bottom crank I'm gonna go with some 100 grit and then we're gonna take it down with some 600 grit down to now we're gonna go 400 first and then the 600 some days I'll get this new math correct. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.